So I think we're about done with symmetry. Um, I mean, I think a little pra more practice would be fine as far as like during warm ups and things like that before we test on it, but I think we're pretty much done. Yeah. Yeah, I um, introduced it, but they seemed to get, get it really quickly. Um, I did the PowerPoint and I had to do it by paper because that my machine is down, so I kept flipping. We did some cutting. So I am going to do um, some reviewing because we have the ketones today, and then I'm going to do reviewing. I want to use some of those, like I have, who has, the stuff you gave us. Okay. Um, so for next week, we need three days of review on geometry, it. and I can even really drop in the numbers in base 10. I was going to say, and I think it would be good for them to see the multiplication division again. Mm -hmm. We have as much practice with that as, as we can give them, I think it's going to mm -hmm. benefit. Because as much as we moved on from it, I think it's only a practice. Right. So they're going to forget it. Yeah, I've been doing it in the warm ups, and when I mm -hmm. assess them this week, I put one of each problem in just to keep it fresh. Mm -hmm. And also, maybe um, place value. I'm not mm -hmm. for your mm -hmm. kids, but maybe some place value no. review because that was the beginning of the year. My kids need that too. So maybe even some stations would be awesome. We could even do a, like a scavenger kind of type thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that would be too much, like mixing all those skills up, but. And then when we get back from break, we're going to introduce fractions. Now we only have three days when we get back. We'll start introducing fractions mm -hmm. along with giving them some other ideas. So we're going to begin fractions when we come back. And th that's a pretty long unit, right? Yeah, so it's going to take us a good, I have maxed out in our paper guide about seven weeks. Ooh, right now. Okay, gotcha. So that's about 35% of the overall material. So it's our biggest goal. Do they have to know decimals too, or just mm -hmm. fractions mm -hmm. decimals all the time? Okay. And how about standard Um. How did the snowflake story go? Did you leave right. it up today? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. we're, I mean, I know that we got a little bit off with giving the ketone and stuff, so I think we might, I don't know, I think we could kind of stay with the snowflake story for next week, based on where I'm at. Um, I'm not, I don't think we're quite ready to wrap it up. Um, Mine might need, um, you know, I told them today, there's no way that your fourth grade teachers can teach you every text that we're going to read. But what we can teach you is how to read, be good mm -hmm. readers, and how to be great thinkers. And then you can generalize those skills and apply them to whatever. So I think it would be really neat if that, um, that story is about the rain cycle. Mm -hmm. Well, we just went through the rock cycle, and maybe we could have them draw a diagram based on that text. Could we use that yeah. as like an extension activity to, I definitely to add? Because um, it ties right in with the whole cycle thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I was also thinking um, as another extension and kind of connect it back to poetry because we kind of didn't spend a ton of time with poetry. Mm -hmm. So to kind of bring it back, if we can have them read, I'm sure there's a snowflake poem out there yeah. that I can find and they can that and compare the text structure between the narrative nonfiction and the That'd poem. That'd be awesome. So that would be another thing we could do next week to kind of extend it. Do you want to review the comparison chat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the transition words from before. Yeah, and and they have those transitional those transition sheets. Mm -hmm. So just depending on where we're at, like with your higher kids, they could probably even write out. You know, maybe for some of them, they could just come up with a Venn diagram, and then for others, they could actually go ahead and write the, write the paper, write yeah. the text. Um, and that would be something we could do. And that also, also ties in with the, the symmetry, yeah. with the ge uh, geometry that we're just finishing, so that's awesome. Yeah, that's have, right. Um, you know, like um, let me you know, know if you need someone <laughs> to demonstrate how to make a fabulous necklace. Um, I'm sure we'll Because I <laughs> would be so... Yes, guest <laughs> appearance by, you know, a world-famous snowflake maker. Uh -huh. <laughs> At least my husband does. Well, that sounds awesome for next week. Love it. And then, what would we start on when we get back? 
Um, I think I want to continue with the poetry when we talked about yep. doing sonnets. Okay. So I think we'll do that right when we get back and work through that process of kind of analyzing the poems that they're reading and then we'll kind of be done with poetry mm-hmm. for right now when we get back. I know I remember like in, in the past, and you tell me if I'm wrong, but the kids would have to read the poem and, and sort of figure out the meaning of it or mm-hmm. pick two poems on the same subject like the dreams that we did. Yeah. Um, so, but I do like that we're going to do more poetry. Yeah, and I think we really need to uh, work through like close reading of poetry so that they can analyze Love it. the poems. Because they're going to be asked to really identify the figurative language, tell us what it means. And like mm-hmm. that, so. mm-hmm. Now, will we be writing any poetry? Um, that's I know it's not a standard. Mm-hmm. Just want to check on that. Okay. Okay. Um, and then science are wrapping up, and we'll be doing push for bringing it back. Right. Do we want to talk about procedures for tomorrow now since we're all together? Yes. For the fossil making. Yeah. Yes. Um, you ha- basically you have the recipe or directions, and I would definitely make sure that we talk about informational text and procedural text when they go to do that. And to tie in math, I have that they will double that recipe. Um, so, and it's really like half, uh, I think it's half a cup of flour per batch. So they should be easy fractions, but it would kind of be nice, like a nice little tie in. Um, yeah, to fractions and, you know, whatever. For some, that'll come much easier than others. But basically, you have all the materials, and how you facilitate it will be kind of up to you. I would like for the kids to have the experience of measuring those things, and I have the cups that we could just mark, like what's a half cup, what's a quarter cup, what's a whole cup, um, just because I don't have a lot of sets of measuring cups at home. And they would actually measure the ingredients and then go back to their teams, and there would probably be someone who, you know, adds the salt, adds this, so that they have that feel for what it's like. So I don't know how many kids actually help in the kitchen at home. Right. So, you know, bef- that it's going to be a little bit of a trick how to facilitate that. Then once they're in their groups, they'll have to decide how much water goes in because the recipe doesn't say. It just says water. So they'll, you know, we'll have to explain that you do it a little at a time and have them predict why and what would happen if you put too much in. And then once they get the clay made, the Play-Doh made, um, it'll probably be a bob about this big. And so um, there'll be like four people in a group, so they'll each take a fourth of that. So that would be another good mm-hmm. way to tie in the math of, you know, you have four people, how do you do? And then once they get their their blob, they will um, take their um, bug, their plastic bug, and put it in there. And it has to dry over the weekend. So my recommendation would be that they have a piece of paper with their name on it or a half a sheet of paper with their name on it so that they can just kind of set there over the weekend and they'll just so to was, dry. was that what you were thinking was going to kind of be their workspace too? Was like have paper on their I think that's a great idea. Or what? Yeah, okay. yeah. Pro- probably a... Just a sheet? Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, any way you want to no, do I it. No, I think that's fine. But, um, and then if they write their name on it, then we don't have to guess, oh, this is yours, this is, you know. So then Monday, we'll have to have time to remove the, you know, okay. and talk about um, what you're trying to do. Right. Okay. And what it would be like if you were a paleontologist and, you know, it wasn't, you know, what would be really cool is if they could cover, cover it up. And it'll be kind of a student-led, but if they actually cover their bug up, then they have to chip away. So it'll, it's just going to be one of those, it'll be interesting. Okay. But they and love the hands up. Definitely. Okay. And for Monday, then, in science, um, that will be the investigation of their... Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping they dry over the weekend. It says, you know, that's why I left planning for Friday, so that they would have the weekend. Okay, so good. And then when we get back, the focus studies are going to be reading? Um, yeah, there'll be some um, sort of general background information first, and then we're going to go into regions, and it's going to be the Northeast first. And I was going to tie in the states and capitals um, of each region, not of the whole United States at once, but just of each region. Okay. And um, try and incorporate more. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And so we'll have to build in um, 
we have to talk about how um, I'll, I'll provide like a study guide of the map that they can fill in and study from and then probably just give them the blank map to fill in on test day so we'll have to so are we going to are we going to assess them as we go through the regions mm -hmm. or okay and then you know at some point we can um, do like del some delayed testing and maybe when we're finished with the second um, region pull back in the other one so they don't forget and I'll provide games. We have bingo games and puzzles and um, yeah, I saw right. Cool. So I have next planning for next week, but it sounds like we kind of covered that as well. Do you guys have any other holiday activities going on besides that last hour on Wednesday? Monday, Monday and Um, <laughs> get the news immediately. For that, for that Wednesday? Yeah. So, right, so you see people mm -hmm. okay. I have not had a parent. Um, Did Mrs. Pope get back with you? No, but um, she said she would this morning. So if I don't have a parent, um, I will probably just do some minute to win it games, which I think they'll love. And then I hold some activities that they can do with candy canes. Um, but that's just for the last for Wednesday, right? Just for Wednesday, I think that's a nice party in for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Party all day. No, no, hours. no, yeah. plenty. And I'm sure um, I bet you will uh, have a parent who will continue on. Right. And as far as like activities, I feel like we have enough going on. Yeah. But I don't really feel the. And I, I have a student that doesn't celebrate holidays at one. Yeah. Feel uncomfortable. Exactly. So you have to change your schedule. You better schedule. No. I don't think so. No, and that the last part of the day is. Science and we'll be we'll be finished because Monday is going to be the rock. We're going to uh, finish up with the fossils. Um, Just email me and let me know. Okay. I'm making a chart. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that last hour was fine, didn't you? Yeah, I do. I think that last hour was fine. Mm -hmm. we're, I mean, we're reading about snowflakes. That's close enough to us. We can make snowflakes if we want, mm -hmm. and that's. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mm -hmm. I think great. Still can make a sugar and candy hut. Exactly. <laughs> well, like um, your mom said she was going to bring a sweet or salty or fruit or something. Yeah, she, she had sweet. This is what my room parent was doing because I don't know. She said she does sweet, salty fruit and then like a juice. Okay. So that so it's not, not too much. Care. It's not like all sweets. So that they're not totally mm -hmm. hyped up. And then she said she's doing like a if you have an extra one, then maybe you could ask her if you took them get one. Do you have an extra parent? I, think, you know. I have a, um, I found in the closet from my new room, some kind of ornament thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so for planning after break, mm -hmm. is there, I know we've been having our plan, we've been trying to have our plan for night, the Thursday before. Is there a specific day we want to pick to have our plans done so when we get back for everybody? Do, do we want to have them done before we go? So that we, that we, it's only three days we can get back, but maybe that's the deadline. Um, I don't know. Okay. I'm up or whatever. Yeah. I mean, because we come back on what, a Wednesday, a Wednesday right? Mm -hmm. There's some benefit to getting them done and having them done and having us review them, mm -hmm. but then there's also the fact that then know. it'll slip our mind for I was a while. Say, I don't feel like I would remember. Yeah. Just, mm -hmm. I mean, either way, we're going to have to the day or two before we come back, you know, kind of refresh. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I mean, it's a little off topic, but um, I'm going to come in over the break at least for a day and bring my bathroom and do some tidying mm -hmm. up. And yeah, you won't need to do that. They should be doing that. Let me look into that before you take the study vacation. Okay, good. I'll probably just come in one minute. I have baskets yeah. full of I do. I have some stuff, that we stuff to clean like out. Stuff. <sighs> what if we have them to each other by <laughs> before the new year? Okay. So like what, that, that Sunday before, we could try to keep for that. Yeah. So then we come back on that Wednesday. Um, any newsletter items um, I can include for when we get back as well? 
maybe just that we'll have acuity testing and MAP testing in January, and that we'll keep them posted on the dates. Mm -hmm. Ms. Robinson, do you know when we'll have these dates? I have not received. Okay. Do you know maybe Ross? All I know is it starts the 7th. But that's usually middle school first. But I don't know if that's acuity or MAP. See, I, don't know. I don't know which one comes first. I mm -hmm. thought acuity was before MAP. Yeah, I, yeah, I just don't know. I don't have. That week yeah, I just week. don't have a schedule either. Are there any like major changes that we're going to make come like this is like the half year point? Um, We've talked about the differentiation of the things. Yeah. So we'll start. Do you want to include that right away or kind of? I think, I mean, I think it would be great if we could start doing that the first, not that short week, but the full, first full week that we're back. So I don't know if we need to include that in the newsletter that we'll send out in that short week. Mm -hmm. And also, um, what criteria we're going to use to differentiate because we'll have parents asking why. You know. well, we talked about doing, they had to get a, a four. Do we want to do a 3.5 or a four or just a four? I think 3.5 or a four. 3.5 mm -hmm. or a four for three consecutive weeks? Or and maybe that we need to put that in the newsletter too. Just you know, to be as specific as we mm -hmm. can. Yep. And then um, December yeah. laws are going to get back and January laws have to go out. Right. Okay, laws. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. And then I, right, and then after the acuity and MAP testing, we'll revisit lessons and see about movement and math if anybody needs to, mm -hmm. yeah. to shift or anything like that. We should have put that on the agenda item to discuss mm -hmm. with everyone. Okay. So once we, that'll be like in the beginning of February probably mm -hmm. when we have that discussion. And what right. we'll use, what rationale you use. We'll use, use yeah. Um, no, um, mm -mm. you got the information about the activity that you share with them? You took them? Oh, and I've already, they're already taken and put yeah. in my box. Yeah. I had a student come and get those and they're, they're ready to go. Ready to go. Like 730 this morning. Yeah, it's it was done. Yeah. Um, exactly well, because if she comes in early and wants to take them and grade them, like beforehand, um, then that'll be done. And then this afternoon, we're going to do the math. Right. Mm -hmm. okay.